Hey, I'm Randy, and you're watching The Cheap Audio Man. Here at The Cheap Audio Man, we don't feel like turntables should cost more than a dining room table. A big one, you know, that seats 12 with the leaf. I don't know why they call it a leaf, but I remember whenever family would come over, I had to go get the leaf, or leaves, leaves, out of the attic, or the garage. Either way, I had to go get it. And these don't, what are they? They're the Fluence RT. 81 and the RT 83. It's a tale of two turntables. So sit down, grab a cup of coffee, and let's talk about the Fluence RT 81 and RT 83. Today's sponsor is audiophile grade, that was loud, packing tape from Sith Audio. When you want to make sure that all of your product, audio, audiophile products are packed up properly and they have the best tape available, Make sure you get some of Sith Audio's audiophile grade packing tape. It's gonna make sure that everything sounds great when it's packaged. It's 90, nah, let's say $139.99. It's on sale for from $175. Audiophile grade packing tape from Sith Audio. Another great product from Sith Audio. Okay, the Fluence RT. 83 which this is my personal table bought it about a year ago in the rt81 which they just sent me thank you fluence so here's the differences the rt81 right here i don't have the the little oh i have it oh, whoops i turned it upside down actually it says fluence it's very nice see i don't know if you can see that all right there it is fluence very nice little mat okay the differences 81 is $250, okay? It also has a phono preamp, okay? The RT83, $350. It does not have a phono preamp. The RT81 has a Audio-Technica AT95E, I think. AT, no, ATN95E from Audio-Technica. The RT83 has a Ortofon 2M red. Fluence has five turntables. The RT80, 81, 82, 83, 84. Well, maybe they have six. Fluence has six turntables. The RT80, 81, 82, 83, 84, and 85. So the RT80 and 81 both have phono preamps and they are available in walnut, which is very pretty. Hmm. So very glossy walnut, very glossy black, piano, or piano white. The RT82, 3, 4, and 5 come in piano black, piano white, walnut, or bamboo. Both the 80 and 81 and the 82, 83, 84, and 85 look fundamentally the same, but there are a few differences. The first of which is they have different motors. So the 80 and 81 have a motor. The 82, 83, 84, 85 have a better motor. It has better specifications and things like that. They have the same tone arm and they also have removable head shells. It's the H4 bayonet style. The 80 and 81 also have fixed feet, four of them to be exact. The 82, 83, 84, and 85 have adjustable feet. It's kind of, a, I'll show you a picture. They're adjustable and there's only three of them, but you can use it to level out the turntable. The belt on the 80 and 81 also goes inside the platter and on the 82, 83, 84, and 85, it goes outside the platter. You can also get a optional acrylic platter. From what I can tell, the plinths on all the tables are the same. They're about a one and seven eighths inch. A lot of siblings going on here on this video. Anyway, they're thick and they're about twice as thick or even more than twice as thick as some of the other turntables in the same category. Price category, that is. Speaking of price, they range from 200, well, $200 on the 80 all the way up to $500 on the 85. The 85 and 84 come with an Ortofon 2M Blue cartridge. The 85 comes with an acrylic platter. 
The 83 comes with an Ortofon 2M Red cartridge. The 82 comes with an Ortofon OM10 cartridge. The 81 comes with an Audio-Technica ATN 95E cartridge. And the 80 comes with a ATN 91 cartridge. All the tables come with an auto stop function, which means if you fall asleep and you leave the tone arm on the record playing, that it actually stops at the end. So you don't have to worry about it. It's just going for like 17 hours because maybe you're really tired. The 80 and 81 also have a bypassable phono preamp. It's a Texas Instruments phono preamp and it sounds quite good. To turn on the tables and to change the speed from 33 to 45, it's a simple switch on the front. You don't have to change belts or anything. You just have to actuate a round knob switch into the position you need. While the tables look the same on the outside, with the differences, there's also a difference in weight. The 83 is actually almost a pound heavier than the 81. Does that mean it's better? I don't know, probably. I like heavier things. Heavier always just seems better, doesn't it? Build quality. I've been fortunate enough to get to play around with a few different turntables at this point, and I will say, at their price point, the Fluence tables feel significantly better, better quality. Out of the box, there is some setup to get these tables up and running. It took me about five minutes. I was doing it while I was talking to a friend on the telephone. On the telephone, it was Steve. Steve's my friend, I was talking to him, but I was setting the table up at the same time, and it still only took me about five minutes. The first thing you have to do is put on the platter, and then you put the, um, the belt around it, and they're different, so the belt on the 83 goes around the platter, the belt on the 81 and the 80 goes underneath the platter. Anyway, it walks you through how to do that. Then you have to put the head shell onto the tone arm, and it couldn't be easier. You just slip it on and you turn the little nut until it's tight, and then you're done. And then you have to balance the tone arm. And it's pretty cool how they do it. So the tone arm weight on the back, after you click it and you just push it in and it'll click, you know, it's the right place. Then you just unscrew it until, and take the, uh, take the stylus cover off. You back it out until the tone arm is floating in the air, okay? And you go ahead and you put it back into the thing and you put the little cover on it, okay? And hold it in place. And this also has a lever, lever on all the turntables, okay? So once you get it there, there's a inner dial. You turn that inner dial to zero when it lines up with the stripe. And then you just turn the whole counterweight to two, which means two grams or whatever tracking force that your cartridge requires. And then you set the anti-skate to two and you're done. It's super easy and it's super clever. And there's a bunch of videos out there too. Fluence has some very good videos that will walk you through it, but it's pretty easy. Even I can do it. So how do they sound? Well, obviously sound has a lot to do with what type of cartridge you have on the table. But since I had two Fluence turntables, that means I have two Fluence head shells. So, I was able to very quickly change out the head shells and the cartridges to see what type of difference there was in sound. The stock cartridge, the ATN95E, I think, yes, was very full and almost lush. It was very enjoyable in contrast to the Ortofon 2M Red, which was much more analytical, much more clear, there was a greater sense of detail. I wouldn't say openness, they both sounded open, but the 2M Red definitely brought more detail into the musical picture. However, I really enjoyed the sound of the ATN 95E as well. It just sounded, mm, so much body was in there. Yes, there's some detail lacking on top compared to the Ortofon 2M Red, but they're very good. I've also listened to the Ortofon OM5E. That cartridge sounds to me more similar to the Ortofon 2M Red. So if that is a sound that you're going after, you can always pick up the Ortofon OM5E for about $60, I think. Put it on a head shell, which is about $20. And guess what? 
you have two different sounding cartridges on the same turntable. So I'm going to say I've said it with speakers before. The best $500 speaker is two $250 speakers that sound different. The best $300 turntable or $500 turntable is a $250 turntable and a different cartridge that sounds different. And then you can just switch it out. So guess what? You get two different sounds out of the same turntable. I could not recommend these turntables enough. All of them. If you go on Amazon and you look at the reviews, they are overwhelmingly positive to the point of like five stars on almost all of them. Now, sometimes I don't agree with all the Amazon reviews, but in this case I do. They're phenomenal. Now, if you are after something that is super sleek looking, the Fluence turntables are more traditional looking. If you want something that's super sleek, there's an awful lot of options out there. I would look at U-Turn. They are a wonderful turntable as well. But the value proposition with the Fluence turntables is you, you can't argue with it. If you just look at the price of cartridges and then start to consider what is left over for the rest of the table and how well built these are, it's, it's pretty surprising. And frankly, I don't quite know how Fluence is doing it, but they are. They're great, they're available, they're in stock, and they're awesome. If you don't have a phono preamp, you cannot go wrong with the 80 or the 81. It just really depends on what type of sound you want. If you already have a phono preamp in your integrated amplifier, if you have a separate one, then it depends on what you want. If you want to, if you know you like the Orophon 2M Blue or the 2M Red, then the decision is pretty obvious. It depends on what you want. If you want acrylic platter, then RT85 is the way to go. Either way, they're awesome. Does the acrylic platter make a difference? I don't know. I haven't heard one on these tables, but I can tell you as they are right now, they sound awesome. I, can't, I was really surprised just how good the phono stage in the RT81 sounded. Very pleased. I don't think you can go wrong. Very high recommend, highest recommendation for a turntable, okay? I've really been enjoying all the turntables and frankly, Plain Records has just been awesome. There's something about taking the record out of the sleeve, putting it on there, putting the needle down. And with these, they're kind of semi-automated, so if you do fall asleep or you get up, you get distracted, you don't have to worry about it spinning forever into the abyss and ruining your very expensive stylus. If you want to support the channel, you can sign up for Patreon, patreon.com slash cheapaudioman. Every Sunday night, we have patron-only Zooms. We also have a patron-only Facebook group. You can also use the links in the description. All those links, for the most part, are affiliate links, which means if you buy something through them, I get a small commission. It doesn't cost you any more, though. You can also sign up for Amazon Music. There's a link in the description. Also, my playlists are in the description. Cheap Audio Man Test Tracks, amongst some other playlists. Sign up for... Uh, Amazon Music, you get like two or three, four months for free. You get three months of Disney Plus for free, and I get a couple of dollars. So, don't binge watch anything on Netflix or Hulu. Binge listen through your new Fluence turntable and fill your soul with happiness. And with that, I'm Randy. I'm the Cheap Audio Man.